Let's talk about site alignment. Site alignment is extremely important and when we look at it from a rudimentary uh, point of view or uh, a traditional point of view, we know that we've got three things or two things depending upon the way you look at it. We have part of the rear sight, front sight, and the other part of the rear sight. Okay, I look at it as just front and rear. So I have the front that needs to be in line with the rear, equal daylight in between. And the shot actually breaks on the top edge of the front sight. And of course, once we overlay that onto what it is that we wanna shoot, we know that the shot breaks at the top edge of the front sight, not on the fiber and not on the tritium. Sometimes people get a little bit confused with that. Majority of these guns are sighted in at 25 yards, point of aim, point of impact. Now, how good do your sights need to be? Well, we know that we want a hard focus front sight, soft focus rear sight. And what that basically means is that there's more dominance over driving our front sight than there is our rear sight. And then of course, distances come into play here. So we'll talk about that when we get into uh, sight picture and what all this is going to look like as we blend the two together. Now, a lot of times I get asked a question in regards to importance of the use of the sights. Should we use them? Should we not use them in anything up close? I am always looking to align my sights on what it is that I wanna shoot. How aligned is gonna be determined based on the shot. Now. When we look at how refined do they need to be, that's gonna be the question for you. And what a lot of shooters, they start to debate, well, if I'm up close, do I just kind of point shoot or intuitively shoot? Or if I'm you know, far away, is that when you use your sights? I look for my sight all the time. My sight gives me very, very important information and that is speed up and or slow down. So what we look at when we're driving our sights, we're looking at getting information back. So that sight alignment is important. And one of the things that I also look at is how good does good need to be? This is extremely important because what happens to a lot of shooters if this is the six inch square that we're shooting at, sometimes guys are, are trying to get a perfect sight picture in the center. And the reality is my sights may not be perfect. They only need to be good enough in order to make that shot. So they could be a little low, a little high, a little left and a little right. So what we look at is when we start to superimpose that sight picture on, on our target, I think sometimes we're trying too hard. Remember, if you've deemed this box as appropriate, that, that that's where your shots need to go. Why am I trying to make it any better than what it needs to be? Good only needs to be good enough. Now we know that <clears throat> at certain distances or dependent upon how critical of a shot I may need to make, that those sights might need to be perfectly refined, like a hostage rescue shot, um, even though it's at the seven yard line or five yard line, maybe a uh, 25 yard shot or a 30 yard shot. Somewhere in there, we know that to hit this six inch square, my sights have to be perfect. Now there's some other fundamentals that go along with that, don't get me wrong, but the point being is, is the sights only need to be good enough in order to make the shot and no better than that. But I'm always looking for them because they give me valuable information.